Hey guys, uh, tonight we're gonna look at something that I'm really gonna struggle to keep in frame, but it's a Beyond Clothing uh, assault suit or coverall set. I always find coveralls interesting, uh, especially like the uh, Arcteryx assault suit that came out. Um, so when I see them, uh, I try to grab them and, and give them a shot. They never end up fitting very well uh, between top and bottom being one piece. Like there's a lot of room for error there. Uh, so this was a catch and release for me, as cool and unique as it is. But let's get on the table and try to run through what's included. I don't know if you're ever going to be able to find one of these. Um, and by the time I post this, it'll probably be in someone else's hands. But cool piece of history. All right, so running through the features real quick on this Beyond uh, clothing coveralls. It's uh, it's FR, uh, which makes sense uh so it's it's surprisingly stout in uh in how much it weighs and how much space it takes up it doesn't compress down very well uh, and it would be a terrible um change of clothing uh if if you needed it that way but definitely like it's its use case is <clears throat> short term uh wear with with little movement all right like you're not you're not going to cover a lot of distance in this thing or you're going to be primarily vehicle based. So like the early GWAT days when dudes are running around in flight suits, this would have been a pretty good substitute for that. All right. Uh, it is a zipper closure, a dual zipper. So you, you can, you can use the restroom, uh, without too much issue there. All right. Uh, and then you've got a Mandarin collar to help keep the, the flames off your neck. All right. You can, uh, you can get some pretty decent coverage with that collar. It stands up well. Um, and then it also folds well when you don't want it in the way. Uh, looking at your chest pockets, they're very straightforward. They are uh, two pieces of Velcro closure with kind of a, a center facing bellow. Uh, the, the edges are sewn down uh, on both sides. So your, your all of your bellow comes from the, the middle uh, and kind of reduces the profile on the sides. Looking at the sleeves, they have a very, very same, similar pocket. Uh, again, streamlined towards the front and bellow towards the back with just a simple Velcro closure. Nothing crazy going on there. No dual layer or anything like that. And no Velcro on the face. Uh, the lower portion of the sleeves here looks like it could take a elbow pad. Um, it, it's stitched like that, but... Uh, in in reality, it's just a reinforced panel. I could not find any any way to get a pad in there, uh, both external or internal. So I'm pretty convinced that's just uh, some reinforced material there. And then the cuffs are again secured by Velcro, uh, so that you can limit the the path for uh, flames or blast to to find its way into your clothing. Uh, and that's kind of it on the top. The sleeves are mirrored. Uh, Velcro cuff and single pocket on the top. Kind of a raid style pocket, right, without Velcro. Uh, moving down a little bit into the lower portion, you do have a uh, elastic uh, Velcro closure to take up slack around the waist, and I'll show you more of that on the back. And then around the, uh, the torso, you have integrated belt loops. These, I think, were the, the largest disappointment for me. Uh, coveralls never do very well uh, with pairing with a belt uh, because you've kind of, you know, you, you kind of just have to wrap the belt around and then hope that body shape holds it where you wanted it. Um, so I was intrigued by these, uh, but they, they do kind of double duty to make it not great, right? Because now the, tor the, the torso is bearing all the weight of your belt potentially, uh, or you've got it really, really snug down. And these are just kind of they're, they're, they're quite large. Uh, they've got a lot of pass-through room uh, for not being very tall. So it takes like a kind of a one and a half inch belt that's really thick. Not quite sure what happened there. And you can't really uh, tighten it down more. So if you had a, a taller belt in there, you know, it, maybe it would want to lay flat like that, but that doesn't seem ideal at all. It's weird that they didn't just space it at two inches and then let you tighten it down pretty aggressively. <clears throat> Lower legs, again, looks like you could put knee pads in there. Didn't find any provision for getting knee pads in there, but you have a large reinforced portion on your knee. Uh, nothing unique going on in the crotch, just a little bit of a gusset there. 
And then down at the bottom, again, you can uh, tighten this up around your boots, uh, which is nice, especially on uh, coveralls like this, because they tend to be, they err on the side of being too long. Uh, so to be able to really tighten this around the boot, like it helps the material just kind of pool without getting down past your heel. On the sides here, uh, where you've got the kind of pass-through for the, the tightening, you've got a interesting pocket setup. You've got just regular like pants style pocket uh, that runs fairly deep. And then you have a Velcroed pass-through uh, to whatever you might be wearing underneath. So if you had uniform trousers or, or regular daily use trousers inside and you forgot something in your pocket, you can get to it. Uh, so it's not quite like the old mop situation where you're your pen or your knife was in your pants pocket and then JS list doesn't let you get inside there, right? Obviously this isn't a chem suit, uh, but you do have provision to get to your actual pants pockets. And there's nothing else crazy going on on the back, All right? You've got a total of five of those belt loops. Here's your uh, pass through for the waistband and your belt loops with no uh, butt pockets on it at all. Uh, so it, it's, it, it definitely favors more on the coverall side of the equation versus like a, an assault suit or, or even a flight suit, really. It doesn't have the pocket configuration to, fill, to fulfill either of those duties super well. Um, but it is flame protection or flash protection uh, made by a pretty reputable company, right? It's beyond um, just a... An interesting piece, not an overly useful piece, but cool to take a look at and to uh, hopefully pass on to somebody else that can make use. Thanks, guys.